Hey guys, it's your boy Tino, here with another video, and you all have been asking for it, you know what it is, the arms tier list, yeah yes, alright, so, um, yeah, how I'm gonna go about this, there are multiple ways to go about this, but how I want to go about this is by going from worst to best, and now why I do it this way is because, one, it's easier to, um, you know, just say, oh, Master Mummy is the worst, or oh, Ribbon Girl is the worst, so now who's... Who is a little better than that, or who is worse in the cast? Maybe it's Masango. You know, you gotta, you gotta like go that way, right? And I think, I think that's, I think that's the best way to go about this, especially considering that this game is not really developed at all. Like it's, it's finalized, but no one plays it competitively, and I think it should be played competitively, but no one does. So you know, there's no real tactic that's been really finalized with every character so this is just almost a shot in the dark but it but it's a very good shot in the dark for me because i've played this game for a while i've played every character i know how every character works you know i i, I just know the game really well and i know i know the tactics that work online against you know friendlies i i just i understand the game enough to where i can make a tier list that is actually uh suitable so what we're going to start off is the worst character, and I hinted this before, Master Mummy. Now, why Master Mummy is the worst character? So, oh, I, I should mention this also. I'm going by the first three arms that they have. I'm not going by every arm, because then the tier list would be based on abilities, which I think it should be based on their default arms, because if this is going to be in competitive play, I think default arms should be the only ones allowed. Now... Like I was saying, with Master Mummy being the worst, he has a good revolver, the the fire revolver and the fire bird uh, arms that he has. The mega the mega arm, the big ball with the spikes on it. Uh, that arm can be good. I've seen I've seen good plays with that. I, but I I think the real meta would be the f revolver, the fire revolver, and the the big the big uh, metal arm. And I think I'm using that as his best kit. And with that kit, it doesn't really do much because he has a, a big, slow, heavy arm that barely gets a hit, if at all. And then he has the fire revolver that doesn't do enough damage, but is faster. So it's like, he doesn't really have any options. And now his only option, yeah, people would say, okay, he can sit and shield and heal. Well, healing five every second is not good enough and won't win the game. And especially how slow and big he is, he's just a target that anyone can hit. You know, so I think he is by far the worst character and should be in the worst tier. Now, next up, looking through this kit, you know, you can see some characters and be like, okay, they're definitely not viable. And that's what's going to be in this e, e tier. Bite and Bark, he has no abilities. His uh, starting arms is the, the homing rocket, right? The popper and the and the punching glove, you know, the, the black one that does no effect. Now the glove is probably his best. The glove and the homing, uh, the homing rocket are probably his two best. So I'm gonna go with those, and they they're pretty well. You know they have medium damage. They're they're medium uh, fists, right? But he just doesn't have any abilities to help with that. So he's a very underrated character because of how his abilities, you know, are really lackluster. Like they, there's just not much you can do with him. So he, he I think he is not viable just because he doesn't have a broken or a good ability that helps him out. Now next, I'm going to put in Helix. When I first played this game, I thought, okay, Helix is probably going to be the best character, like Yoshi in Melee. Not the best character, but but like Yoshi in Melee, right? Like he's going to he's going to be this wacky character that no one's going to be able to play against because they just have their own weird playstyle. But looking at his default arms, the blue blobs that just do ink, so it, it just blocks their view, which is a big, you know, hit, but it's similar to Master Mummies, where it, it doesn't really do much. Then he has the Guardian, the shield, and that one is okay, but if he had a faster punch to go with it, I think he could be D or C tier. But, you know, I'm gonna put him in E tier, just because he doesn't have good arms, and his playstyle isn't really what we're looking for, right? Because grab is probably the best move in this game, grab, because, you know, you can punch it, but it's not too laggy, so if you punch and cancel it, you can go for a punch without being punished, right? So grab, you know, will beat Helix almost every time, because Helix can't really move out of the way. He can twist or, like, 
slightly push himself out of the way, but really, if you're good enough at grabbing, you know, he, he's no matchup, no contest. Okay, so these are the unviable characters, the so three out of the 15. So now we have 12 left, right? And these 12, I'm going to say, are all viable. So D tier and up are all viable characters. Now, looking through these, I'm thinking, huh, which characters do I think, you know, don't have good enough abilities? And so what I'm thinking is Lollipop, Min Min, Kid Cobra, and yeah, I think that that is a really good, um, a really good representation of D tier. These are all characters with weird abilities, but don't really work well with their um, palette, right? Now, how I'm gonna set them up, I I'll do that in a second. But what I'm thinking is that all three of these characters are slightly good; they have good abilities, but they don't have arms that really help with their abilities other than kid cobra he has the salamander the slap and the cool cool or whatever it's called and he has probably the best arms out of the three um she lollipop has the nunchucks and the shield which could be good but you know i don't i don't think they're as good as they can be and i'm, I'm gonna set it up this way am i min min has the dragon laser the big ball that master mommy has in the chakram so, actually, I, th I think it's going to be like this. Just because Kid Cobra has the best arms out of them all. But by abilities, Lol uh, Lollipop, you know, she has the, the bounce, right? It's a good movement ability. Has good shield. Good, um, mo yeah, good movement and good defense. But she doesn't have really arms to go with it, right? She has the, ch uh, the ch nunchucks, the ice nunchucks, which are pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong, they're really good. But she doesn't have anything else to really you know, provide extra help, you know, she just has those that are pretty good, and that's why I think she's probably D tier, the worst of all the viable characters, now Min Min, she has a really cool ability, where she charges up fully, it's either her right or left arm, I think it's her right arm, stays charged until she gets hit, so I think that ability in itself, if you do that with the, the big ball, right, on your right arm, it's always charged, so it's always maximum size, right, and you can do a lot of damage with that. And I think that's probably her best ability is having that strong ball to always be charged. And then she could have her chakram, the 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 boomerang style thing, or the circular style thing, right? Circular arm. Uh, she can use that for poke. And I think that, that gives her a cool mechanic. But why she's under Kid Cobra is because Kid Cobra has the slap and the cool ring, right? And those two, the slap itself is really good, a really powerful move. It's fast, it does damage, it does knockback, you know, you, it, it's, it's just really good poke. It's a lot better poke than Min Min's, you know, Chakram, right? But that's, that's the only reason I think Kid Cobra's a little better. Also, Kid Cobra's faster, and his abilities are slightly better, you know. He's, he's just faster and stronger, and his grab is, is pretty good as well. Now, going to C, B, A, and S. These tiers... I'm going to put as not just viable, but could win, right? I think that these tiers definitely can win. So when I'm looking through this, okay, I'm thinking Springman should definitely be, you know, the center of the whole thing. I think he is the most balanced character along with Ninjara. I think Ninjara is also as balanced as Springman, just it was slightly different, enough different so that you know, I, I guess they could both be in the same tier, really. I don't think that either of them are better or worse. You know, I think they're very interchangeable. And that's just because Ninjara has a strong grab, strong shield game. You know, he has his neutral arms, the punch and the and the chakram, right? The, the rings are really powerful and neutral, and they're quick. You know, the only problem is that the highest thing he has is a medium and not a large or a, a heavy. So... You know, he really gets beaten out by, let's say, um, Ma Max Brass or Dr. Coyle. You know, but I'm also going to put Springchon there because he's very similar to Springman. But I think actually Springchon is better. He just has, I I'm pretty sure he has one ability that's better where, um, is it the lower percent? No, that's Max Brass. I'm sorry. Okay, my mistake. 
But I think Springtron is slightly better than Springman. I'm pretty sure he has one ability more than Springman. I, I, I'm almost positive. And then Ninjara. You know, he can be... He can be here. He can be here. You know, I don't really... I don't really think... I don't, I don't think he's... Um, yeah, I think they're all equal, pretty much. Only this guy's a little better. So I'm going to put it like this. That's how I'm going to set it up. So that's what I think for C tier. Now, Mechanica. Where would she fit in? So I'm going to put Mechanica at the end of C tier um, just because she's big. And she, she has really good neutral arms. Like, don't get me wrong. I main Mechanica, and I love her arms. Like, they're... One of the best in the game, in my opinion, the revolver, the the stun, and then the homing, the homie, which is the the explosion, you know, home, home, uh, homes into the opponent. I think those are really good. But she's big and she's very easy to grab. Which you know, if you're easy to grab in this game, you're not gonna play well. But you know, I could see her in C or B tier. I think C tier because these characters just. If used, like, with their arms and their neutral game, they can just beat a Mechanica almost every time just because they have, not just because they're stronger, but they, they can get a bunch of little hits. And after a while, those little hits become a lot of hits, and Mechanica can't do anything. Mechanica has good movement, however, but I don't think that movement is going to beat out a good player that's able to shield an attack go for a grab, right? Or dodge an attack and go for a grab, you know? And she she is very susceptible to grabs. But, you know, I main her. I think she could be B tier if used well, but I think that if these characters are just better characters in general, like she can be used well and she could be S tier, sure. But in, you know, in consequence, these characters would be S tier as well. So, anyway. Now, final five. Twintel... Masengo and Ribbon Girl. I think they're all in the same tier. You know, I don't think... I think Masengo... Okay, when playing Masengo, I actually found this tactic. Um, he has three, you know, ghost things. Not ghosts, but three sort of allies, right? That circle around his head, his head and they go from orange to yellow to blue. And orange does the uh, super armor. Yellow gives him his um, super attack like boost, and then blue gives him speed. And I think with blue, he can be untouchable if played with the right you know player, right? Because with blue, he'd be so fast that you know there's no there's no way that an opponent can uh, touch him because he's actually the fastest character in the game with blue. He's faster than Ninjara, and he's faster than Kid Cobra, right? So I think with blue, he can be up here. But it, but because he has to have blue, I think he, he's down at the end of B tier. He's very usable. I like his scorpion uh, hands. Used correctly, I think they can, you know, do a lot of damage. But it's sort of like Shulk in a Smash Ultimate, where Shulk can use his arts to benefit him and will actually sometimes win the game just because of his arts. And Masengo has that sort of same tactic. Masengo is also, you know, with the scorpion hands, very fast in general and he has very like quick hitting poison moves which actually a while the poison moves do a lot of damage like they can do you know 50 extra damage in a couple of seconds right if he does you know two fully charged hits you know after like about 10 seconds you got 50 damage on you if he keeps just tapping you and i think that extra makes him above c tier makes him above average twin tail now, Twintel, her ability, her witch time ability is just super good. Especially with her chill hands and her uh, parasol, right? She's really good. But the only reason I think Ribbon Girl is a little bit better is because Ribbon Girl has the spark gloves. And those are the, f like, really fast. They're medium. They shock so you can get a grab. And she has multiple jumps, which makes her definitely better than Twintel. But I don't think they're a tier different. I think Twintel is also really good with her arms. But I think Ribbon Girl is just slightly better. And Masengo, you know, low B tier. Maybe C tier. But same thing with Mechanica, right? They're almost interchangeable. Just depends on how you play them. Anyway, last two. You know who it is. I'm going to put Dr. Coil and Max Brass, right? Max Brass is strong. 
His neutral arms are ridiculous, really powerful. He has this rage mechanic like Lucario where the uh, whenever he's low percent, he does more damage, fully charged uh, arms. I think that's just really powerful. And same thing with Dr. Coil. Her parasol, her uh, nunchucks, and her fist, right? They're just really powerful. And she also goes invisible uh, whenever dashing, I'm pretty sure. It's her dashing, holding shield. But when she's getting up from being hit, she goes invisible, which is also really powerful. But I think Max Brass is better than Dr. Coil. I mean, just because Max Brass has that rage effect where he has always charge, so it, you can intentionally take hits, right? You can trade hits with the opponent, but once you both are on the same, like, health really low, he just has a lot easier job of finishing you off rather than Dr. Coil just having to rely on a... A mechanic that's you know useless um not useless but a mechanic that's uh just a trick it's just a one trick so you know that's why i think max press is better is just because he's strong he's really powerful you know he's also fast for his weight he has strong arms like probably the best in the game other than spring um other than ribbon girl you know but I think I think this is the sol a solid tier list. I think this is really solid, and uh, I don't put anyone in S tier because I don't think anyone is better so much that you know it's unbeatable. Like I think a good Lollipop can beat a Max Brass, and I think a good Min Min can beat a Doctor Coil, and I think a good Mechanica can beat anyone really. But if everyone plays the same exact way, I'm Max Brass and Doctor Coil are by far the best characters to choose. With Ribbon Girl, Twintel, and... You know, I might put Masengo down here. I don't... Masengo's too... If, if you get blue, he's overpowered. But without blue, you know... It's, it's really difficult to put him in a place. Just because he's like Shulk, right? And I think that inconsistency should put him down here. So I'm going to put Masengo down here. Um, Better than Mechanico, just because of that ability. But also, you know... He, he is a good character. He has the scorpion hands, which I think are really powerful. Like, I, I play I play Masengo a lot, and I think the scorpions are really good. They're good for uh, sneak attacks. They're good for poison damage, you know. But, you know, I think I think that he, he, he's, he has ability to approve. I'm going to put him a C because he has the ability to approve. But right now with the meta, right, grab... I think Max Brass probably has that in the bag. You know, he can his arms are strong enough to beat any grab, and then he's able to just do so much damage, little chip damage all the time. And even if he gets hit, you know, I'm pretty sure he has super armor where just like Mechanica where he gets hit, he can just counter hit, does a little bit more damage because his his arms are so strong. And so just it's almost un, unbeatable, really, it, against a good, you know, good Max Brass. Dr. Coil, same thing. She's really powerful. Uh, just Max Brass is slightly better because of the, you know, his his arms. Um, what else should I discuss? I think I think I've discussed it all. Lollipop has ability to prove Min Min. You know, I her kick ability that blocks uh, attacks really good, really good. But her arms just hold her back. Same thing with Kid Cobra. Um. I think C tier is really, C and above is really where you're going to see, um, you know, competition play, right? Probably not these two, you know, so I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. This is better. That's so much better. Okay. S tier, not meaning that they're like unbeatable, just meaning that they're the best of all the characters. Um, yeah, this is a better representation. I'm sorry for earlier. Um, yeah, I, I think this is probably the best representation there is. I'm just putting Ninjara in the middle because they're all about the same, right? Um, B tier and above, you're going to see in tournament play, if there is tournament play. C tier and below, not really, other than one tricks like Helix, Lollipop maybe, Masengo if they're good. Mechanica, you know, I, I've seen videos where they think Mechanica's the best. She's not the best. She really isn't. She has good arms. She's average. That's why she's in C tier with Masengo. Because she's they these two are the line between top tier and bottom tier right they're they, there's really yeah they're really not overpowered at all they're they can be if used correctly but 
again, same tech or same, you know, argument. If these are used correctly, they're better than them. That's why there's a tier list because it's about when played at the best, you know, who wins, right? And Max Brass, Dr. Coil, I feel like win. And, you know, a Ribbon Girl, Twin Tail can win. They're really strong, really good arms. Same thing with these. They're really good. But then C tier and below, you're not really going to see much. They don't have good arms. You know, they don't have good abilities. So, yeah, I, I think that's, that's a good tier list. And I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.